So what we're installing today is the striping kit for my um, Toro Titan Max. So um, I had previously uh, gotten the wrong one. Actually, I got a 140-5119 kit. Uh, was given to me originally from my um, retailer where I bought the unit from. And uh, that one was wrong, so they reordered the correct one. This is the correct one. Taking some measurements, verified it's the right thing. And uh, we're gonna get her going here, so. All right, so in typical Andy fashion, we uh, got ahead of ourselves without starting the video, but uh, what we're doing is putting the striping kit on the Toro Titan Max here. So uh, we've got the deck off, which wasn't extremely difficult. Um, basically, you uh, you know you pull out your your height adjustment pin that goes there. You pull that totally out, push down on the pedal to lift and lower the deck and then pull up on um, the safety stop and allow the deck to go all the way down to the ground. And then um, since it came uh, with the chains pre-adjusted height-wise, I didn't want to mess with that height adjustment. So I took the top bolts out of the chains at the four corners, and then it's got two um, carriage bolts that go into the swing down frame there for the alignment portion. Um, so you just pull the six bolts and then uh, the decks roll back slightly, able to slip the belt off the clutch in the back and then uh, slid the deck over here. Um, got it set up on a, on a chunk of wood and then uh, per instructions, come in squarely off the um, center of the outer tower, come square down the back, measure up an inch and seven eighths from the bottom of the deck and drill yourself a 9 30 second diameter hole. And that hole um, has to be that exact size because the bolts they use are a um, kind of a self-threading type bolt that goes into the deck. So they don't use like a nut and a bolt. It's just the self-threading bolt. So um, once I had the left side of the deck figured out, Moved over to the right side and kind of used it as my guide. Um, again, measuring from the bottom up and mark the hole and drill that. So now we'll bolt the uh, bracket across the back of the deck here. And then uh, there's a rubber flap that goes on that. And then I will have to set the height adjustment. And I'm not sure I'm gonna read further into the instructions as we go here, but We'll get this part loosely bolted on and then uh, get the rubber bolted on and then figure out the height adjustment stuff. So, All right, so the next steps are to install these little clipped fasteners onto, um, onto the bracket here. Honestly, had I read in the instructions a little further ahead of time, I would have kind of pre-installed these because they look like they might be a little bit of a bear to get snapped into there, but um, we'll get those snapped into there. Then it says the rubber is to be mounted to the bracket with the rubber side, which is the thicker part here. So the thick part of the rubber faces forward and the extra layers of the fiber facing towards the rear of the tractor. So we'll uh, get these clips on and then we'll bolt the rubber on with these big flat washers and the bolts going from the back forward into those clips. Again, with the rubber facing forward and them extra fibers facing backwards. So. All right, so I got the clips in and then I started all the bolts with the big flat fender washers. So now we'll get those all tightened up. And then uh, I think we slide the deck back underneath there, get it all hooked back up and then we'll uh, adjust the height of the striper. All right, so we got that mounted to the back of the deck and um, actually it said to adjust the sweeper, um, the rubber portion to sit like a half inch below the deck at max. So that's what I went ahead and did is I, um, I took a little piece of wood I had over here that's half inch thick, sat it under the back edge of the deck 
use that to hold the deck hit where I wanted it and then tighten those bolts up. And it was, to, to be honest with you, I mean, it was almost as high as it could go. Um, they sh probably should have had you drill the bolts a little bit higher um, and you would have been more in the mid range of the adjustment. Um, where they had you drill the bolt holes at was an inch and seven eighths from center to bottom of my, or from the center of my hole to the bottom of the deck. And um, it was kind of a, like they're tight, tight to the, to the bottom of that slotted adjustment. So I think that um, I would recommend uh, maybe, you know, I mean that adjustment slot is, you know, about an inch and a half. So, I mean, you could go like, you know, two and a quarter inches and that would actually give you some up down height adjustment on it right now. You know, I'm maxed out um, as high as it would possibly go. I could drop it down further, um, you know, but if you get too much pressure against the grass, I mean, you're just going to tear it up. So you don't want to do that. So um, I guess I would maybe suggest drilling the holes for that striper like two and a quarter inches from the center of your drilled hole to the bottom of the deck. And that would put you more in the middle of the adjustment um, range for the bracket. So um, anyway, getting back to putting the deck under here, I, uh, for me, um, you know, I don't have extra set of hands out here. So to hold that portion up, um, that stabilizing portion up, I actually just took a bungee cord, which hold on here, um, just took a bungee cord and that was holding this portion up for me so I could slide the deck out without that getting in the way and getting caught. So we get this wiggled back into place, get the six bolts back in. And uh, unfortunately, I'm probably not gonna get a chance to take this out and actually try it until tomorrow. So, which is fine. It's like in the low 90s here today and hot and dry and I don't really wanna be cutting when it's hot and dry. Um, although I'm probably gonna have to do it tomorrow afternoon. And uh, it's supposed to be like low to mid 70s and um, we'll see. We might even get some moisture overnight. That'd be great. So anyway, let's get this bolted up. All right, here it is. I'll bolt it back up and uh, striping kit hanging off the back there. And it does stick back there. It's kind of close to the tires, but I don't think we're gonna get those tires spinning fast enough to balloon out and touch it. So. Yeah, excited to give it a whirl, see how the yard looks.